Alright, it's Pebo again. Today we're going to focus on a grade 12 analytical geometry. Remember uh, that other week we talked about analytical geometry, uh, the distance formula, which is AB is equal to root x minus xb minus xa squared plus yb minus ya squared. And we talk about the gradient, we talk about the midpoint, the equation of a, a equation of a line. Uh, etc. Today we are going to talk about the circle. We have a, a circle here. This is our circle. Okay, on the cutters and plane. This is the cutters and plane. And we've got a circle. Here is our circle. And this circle is from uh, the origin, the center. This is the center. Zero. This is x and this is y is from the origin. If it's from the origin, it means the, the, the coordinates here are 0, is to 0. And then this circle goes uh, through, uh, there, is, there, is a, there is a radius here. So we've got a radius and this radius uh, goes through a point P. This P is x, is to y. So, and we've got the radius here, r. And then what's the, the, the radius? Now we want to calculate the equation of a, equation of this center. Its, its center is a 0 is to 0, and it goes through p is to x uh, is to y. Let's say we'll go there from, the, from, from our distance formula, where we say uh, x is going to be x minus 0, plus y minus 0 all squared is equal to r squared from this distance formula. Therefore, it means x squared cos x minus 0 is x squared plus y squared is equal to r squared. Someone can say this is the theorem of Pythagoras. And then this is the equation of this set, equation of the set from its origin. Let's take one example got example one okay from this example we've got a set we've got a cutters and plane here cutters and plane which goes uh, is from the origin so it means zero is to zero and then it goes and it goes it has got a radius which is uh, we can say p 3 is to 2 and we know that this one is a uh, 0 is to 0 okay let me use this one 3 is to 2 it means x is 3 and y is 2 and then what is the the radius you want to calculate the radius of this line the radius what's going to be the, the, the radius the radius will be like we know that x squared plus y squared is equal to r squared we'll say a uh, 3 minus 0 it will be 3 minus 0 which is 3 squared plus 2 minus 0 it's gonna be 2 squared is equal to r squared therefore 9 plus 4 is equal to r squared r squared is equal to 9 plus 4 is 13 so r is equal to square root of what square root of 13 so it means here yeah, our equation will be will be x squared plus y squared is equal to 13 r squared is 13 this is the equation uh, of our of our set here yeah, from the origin we're gonna go to example example two this one passed a uh, through 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 the origin okay let's say maybe we are giving uh, the coordinates like um uh, let's say they say uh, we calculate what is the maybe the the question will be um what's the coordinates of um or oh, what's the, the the radius of of this uh, of this equation x squared plus y squared is equal to is equal to six what's the radius here required to calculate 
the radius. What's the radius? The radius will be r will be square root of six because you want r not not the square root of uh, not uh, not the six. You want r not uh, uh, r squared. Okay, remember what we're doing here. We're calculating uh, the the coordinates of a of a, uh, of a, uh, we're calculating the equation of a cycle uh, from which is going it which is from this its its center is its center is origin origin so it means the center is zero zero is two zero is to zero its center is zero to zero is to zero now we are going to calculate the uh, now we are moving, uh, we are going uh, 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 into an advanced one. We are going here yeah, into a, an advanced one. The advanced one, let's say, maybe we are giving like um, this, this, uh, this exactly is not from the origin. From, is it's from anywhere. Let's say it's from, um, it's moving like this. And here is the center here. Its center. It's C, A, and B. And then it's going to P, X, and Y. You know. So we have got the, the radius here. Here's the radius. We've got the radius. And then they will say calculate calculate the, the, the radius. What's the equation of a circle? From here, we know that the equation of a circle is it's a x minus it's going to be x minus a all squared plus y minus b all squared is equal to okay, this one this formula this equation we are going to use it when it is not from the origin if it's from the origin we are going to use this one from the origin zero is to zero if it's not from the origin we're going to use that one okay let's say let's take this example uh, example we we'll say example three we've got this circle we've got this circle here uh they say we must calculate the the radius né? it's passing okay here's the radius our radius this is the center and we've got our radius and then we've got um uh, let's see we've got um x here and y and you are giving like uh, two and three three and two and then the radius maybe the radius is equal to uh, is equal to three and then what is the equation of a set what is the equation the equation will be like um as you know that we have got x we'll say x minus two squared plus y minus 3 all squared is equal to 3 squared so it's equal to 9 3 squared is equal to 9 here's the formula okay let's say for instance we are giving uh, if we are giving something like this and and then they will say okay so this is example 4 are giving something like this and they will say what are the this calculate what is the center what is the coordinates what are the coordinates of the center and an radius we are giving like a x plus seven squared plus y minus 8 is equal to 
uh, is equal to equal to nine. Okay, let's say nine again. Then what are the coordinates? Remember, if it's positive, remember here it was negative. So it means the coordinates will be like uh, x. The coordinates will be like uh, here were like two and three. So because it's negative, it's going to be negative seven, not positive. Negative seven is to eight. Is to eight. And the radius is equal to three. That's our radius. They can ask that question. Example five. On example five, they, is, they are saying calculate the coordinates of the center of the center of the center of the of the slightly and and its radius x squared plus y squared plus 2x minus 6y is equal to 6. Hmm. yeah it is like this so we know that if we want to calculate the coordinates it, it must be on this form x minus a squared plus y minus b squared is equal to r squared but here is x squared plus y squared plus 2x minus 6. you know that thing of calculating uh, uh, that thing of um, uh, uh, completing the square so it means you must complete the square here if you complete the square you must group the x terms x squared plus 2x and then y squared minus 6y is equal to 6 you know so it means you must add something here you must add or minus something here what you are going to do if you want to complete the square I want to remind you I'm going to take this 2x we'll say 2 divided by 2 this coefficient of x 2 divided by 2 which is going to be equal to 1 and then we take this one we square this one the answer is 1 so it means we're going to add 1 okay here yeah, I've got plus and then we take this six, negative 6y we'll say the coefficient of y negative 6 divided by 2 which is negative 3 take this negative 3 we square 9 so it means it's going to be plus 9 you know and then because this side we add it 1 when I say plus 1 you know, what we did on the left hand side you must do it on the right hand side plus 1 plus 9 so it means here yeah, what is the square of, of this one x squared plus 2x plus 1 if we are going there, we are going to say x, because they are positive, x, we take this one, that was divided, x plus 1 all squared. If you calculate this, it's going to be x squared plus 2x plus 1. Then plus y squared minus 6x, we're going to say y, y, then we take this one before, before it was squared, it was minus 3 all squared is equal to 6 plus 1 plus 9 it's gonna be 7 plus 9 which is like 16 so from this one now we know this one is on the form of uh, this one so it means the the coordinates of the center our center will be negative 1 because it is positive negative 1 uh, is 2 3 this was and the radius is 4 square root of 16 is 4 that's our answer remember to i was saying remember to to complete the square when you're completing the square if it's x squared plus y squared plus 2x minus 6y is equal to 6 you would say x squared plus 2x plus 1 to complete the square plus this y squared minus 6y plus 9 to complete the square what we added 1 and 9 on this side also we must say 1 plus 9 what we did on the left hand side we must do on the right hand side and therefore after that it is on this form this is our center after that we are going to go to an uh, example number six where we are going to do the the tangent of the circle